Hello everyone, good morning from Palm Springs. Good morning, Mountain. Good morning, Teddy. How's it going? I got here last night and it was dark out and I haven't seen the house yet without the furniture in it, but we are gonna go look at that in a second. I'm really excited. Now there actually is a little bit of our furniture in it, but not a ton. It's like a couch and a dining table, so. Ooh, but first I'm gonna try and chew something. Last night was the first time attempting to chew and it was like kind of difficult, but still amazing to be able to try. I just have to go kind of slow, but we're getting there really quickly. Doing a voiceover. Quiet dog. Okay. I'm all ready to go. I finished my like video edits. I'm so excited to check out the new house. Are you excited dogs? And put the nightstands in there. Wow, your dog breath is very strong today. Love the top. <laughs> it matches my shorts? shorties. Oh my gosh, that's a good outfit. It is. Ready to paint? Yeah. I have been looking at a lot of samples though and I see a lot of white too, just all white. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I think they both look good. I don't know why I lean towards the brown beams. That might be the newest trend. Yeah, I don't know. I just think it's bold. It's like eye-catching. What if we did all white and we could add brown later if we want? Yeah, we could do that. It's going to require quite a bit of sanding. Oh yeah, we need some... Uh... There's going to be a Lowe's trip today. Yeah. First thing though, we've got to get over to uh, the house and shut the power off and take out that bad breaker because mm. I have to take that in to get the right one to replace it. And we'll if you know the extension of the person you are calling, you may water. dial that for all other inquiries. Please stay on the line. So we have electricity. We don't have Wi-Fi yet, but we do have water. Er, I'm getting water. Now on the phone with Spectrum, getting Wi-Fi set up. We're gonna get, we wanna get quotes on all the things that we wanna change about the house. I have one construction company coming by later at noon to give us a quote on the different things. So I'll let you guys know how much they say things will cost. And finally gonna make our way to the house. I haven't seen it and I'm like dying to see it. I know you've been so patient. Oliver, come on. I could never be that patient. I, I, I'm not kidding. I woke up at 4 a.m. and I was like, is it morning? I wanna oh go God. see the house. Oliver is obviously not gonna be in my lap while I try. Teddy apparently doesn't like the house, so. But Teddy's kind of afraid of everything. Okay, we have a Kato friend here. Oh, I feel bad oh. for them. Okay, wow, I never noticed this big shed out here. I know, that thing is- It's yeah, actually it's really awesome. big. That's actually so handy. There's not a garage, but there is this cool little carport. Yeah, let me get that off you. Um, yeah. yeah, let's go inside. I've never actually been here in the morning either, only the afternoon. Opening up her house. Ooh, I'll flip it around and show in a second. Okay. All right. Ooh, the table set up. Yeah, nice. Fun. Oh, clock. Oh, they left that light. Okay, so okay. here we no, are. We oh, the couch does look good. I bought this light, shall we? No, you didn't. No. <laughs> yeah. Now nice. Get up here. Get up here. Oh, I like how it has that little thing. It's so perfect for Airbnb. Like this is gonna wear well. Yeah, this material, yeah. I think so too. Okay, so let's do, I'll do a full tour. All right, so here is the entryway. Um, I never noticed this before. I didn't actually realize this was here, but this will be good for storing things for Airbnb and it locks, it looks like, so that's good. You walk in here, there's this light, which will definitely switch out to something more like mid-century looking. Right in here, this is actually like all of this stuff. So nothing too exciting. That way are the bedrooms and this way is the living area. So yeah, here's the living area. Okay, so you know, good size. We want this to accommodate like six people basically, so got a TV here, we have a media stand coming next week, and then we have this cool chair from Cardiel, the couch is from Cardiel. Looks really cool, windows here. We wanna add like more windows right there and above right there, that would look cool. So there's this dome thing, which we thought was a little weird at first, but 
Honestly, I like that it brings in some light. It's not really like my top priority to do anything about it because let me show you the kitchen. Okay, so here's walking back towards the kitchen. This light's actually not bad, but I did buy a new light that's coming soon. So the kitchen, you can see, is kind of closed off. Um, it's just a little traditional looking. It's not awful or anything, but it could look a lot more modern. So we're going to knock this wall out and have it be kind of like an island. So the whole area is just more open. I do like that it has this little window right here. That's actually really cool. It brings in a little light. So yeah, it will be tricky to see how we can figure like where we're gonna put the fridge, but we'll figure that out. Okay, let's go check out the bedrooms, Teddy. Okay, so walking this way, we have the first bedroom. So it's like good size. We're gonna put a queen size bed in here, I believe. Love the windows, very cool. It has this weird little built-in. Gonna have to do something about that, but not quite sure what yet. Okay, bedroom number two. So here's bedroom number two. I love this one. I think the windows, it's just so bright and cool. I really like these panels. I think these are cool. They're in all these um, Alexander houses and frosted glass doors. I think that looks good. So this room's actually pretty small though. Actually, this might be the one with the queen bed because it, it's actually smaller than I remember. Let's check out the last bedroom. So there's a little washer dryer unit. This is like a two in one sort of thing. And here's the bathroom. You know, it's totally fine and functional for now. We'll definitely make it look different later on but i love that it has a skylight we did tour some houses that didn't have skylights and just so much better with the skylight i guess they left a few things like some soap that's actually kind of nice <laughs> and that's kind of handy the bathrooms in these houses are pretty small but you can move what's in that water closet thing to the roof and you can make you can extend the bathroom so sometimes people do that we might do that eventually um back in the little hallway it's got this cool little paneled wall and then here is the primary bedroom the biggest bedroom so bathroom here and then walking over here it is i just think the windows look so cool it's weirdly kind of cloudy out but it's a big room it's got a ton of closet space. The ceilings are pretty high in here, which is nice. Um, they left this sort of textured tile. I don't know if it's really gonna match the bed that I ordered, but we'll see. I definitely plan on putting different sconces in. So yeah, this actually has its own door to the little like side yard area and its own little bathroom that's pretty small as well the shower is like pretty little but hey when you're only staying somewhere for a few days you don't really mind that kind of thing oh you're just so cute teddy so again i feel like this bathroom is fine i don't think we really need to change it quite yet but eventually i think it would be so cool to add like some wallpaper terrazzo like it could be really cool and then we can go out side this way too but let's go to the yard okay now the backyard i think I, this is what i've shown the most of so far here is the pool the pool is just like massive it's so big monica said it's really cold let's see oh yeah that <laughs> Ooh. so here is the yard lots of random plants in here that we want to take out um i think we want to paint this like a more neutral color too not really the red i want to get rid of these trees altogether. maybe add more of these kinds of hedges yeah we're gonna change a lot about this so there's also this overhang thing here are the umbrellas i ordered these are cool i like them a lot and we got four chase lounges 
they set one up yesterday, so that's great. Wow, a little grassy patch for the dogs. How great is that? Yeah, so think of this really as a before. I feel like this yard has potential, but right now it just is like kind of a mismatch, mismatch of random plants and stuff. And you can see the mountain over there, which is cool. When you're standing here, you can really see it a lot better. But yeah, taking out that palm tree would give like a better mountain view and this one also. And just like, I just think this could look a lot better. This tree is nice though, this olive tree. Like there's bark and then gravel and like this stuff and then random rocks. Like it's just really random. Nice to have some grass. And then heading over this way is a little side yard. Some kind of citrus tree here. Love that. I don't know what exactly these are, but that's pretty cool. Um, there's a chain link fence. I mean, that's just gotta go. That does not scream luxury. <laughs> so this side yard area is actually really quite big. I don't know what we're gonna do with it, but something for sure. I don't really love the brick, but maybe if we painted it white, it could look cool. I don't know, we'll have to see, but yeah, I like the bird of paradise plant. It's kind of like yellow, but kind of dumb. Uh, this thing we're for sure gonna have to get rid of. That's the tour. So that's the overall look at the house. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff we wanna change about it, have it look just more modern and I don't know, just better. I feel like the yard especially could use some work, but I think it's, oh, Teddy is just like not leaving my side. It's so funny, excited to get to work. Oh my God, you can see Teddy through the frosted glass door. Excuse me, hi. So before we start making any more changes, I'm gonna go around and just get like before shots of what everything looks like with a nicer camera. So let's do that. I'm trying some of the outlets outside so that I can charge my car, but they're not working. Just says check power source. So yeah, we're definitely gonna have to get an electrician to come. There's just so much work to do on this house, honestly. <laughs> It's kind of crazy that we bought it now, I feel like, but I am excited. I think it will be great. We just have a lot to do. There's like a whole little like other shed thing back here. What the heck? There's so much storage. I actually think this would be a good spot for the washer and dryer to go because then you wouldn't hear it in the house and it could fit like a full size one. So that's kind of an idea. All right, got a bed in here. Ooh, it's kind of low. It's like way lower than I thought. Yeah. Why is it so low? Okay, so we got the first bed here, but like, it's just so much lower than it looked online. Yeah, why? I honestly don't like it. I don't like it that low. It's not worth the price. It's like not really impressing me. No, no, what the heck? Yeah, this was from CB2 and it looked, it honestly looks nicer online. It like two grand online i don't know it doesn't look I guess it's like they should have low they should have dressed it up with with like a normal room like that showing a room not just a wall i yeah. feel like they tried to make it look like normal height and oh and the thing is what a lot of is this is like up to your hip you like it it's very cool but don't you think it's so low to the ground it's like you know that your the mattresses these days are thicker Okay, so yeah, it's low to the ground, but maybe with a, like a, a hanging light and some nightstands. Ooh, I'll go get the nightstands. Oh yes, let's see how. The okay, night, yeah, let's I'll get them. You. So yeah, you could kind of put those on stands if you wanted, uh -huh. make it a little higher. Okay. You can do that. Yeah, it'll be easier. So the top, we need to like fix it somehow. Definitely. Okay, I feel like these are like almost as tall as the headboard. <laughs> Yeah, this bed is too low. This is like, I mean, these nightstands look too big. Yeah, this isn't really working. I don't like it. So, I have a little light from Article to set up, so we'll do that real quick. 
yeah i think honestly lesson learned like we didn't see a lot of this stuff in person first we didn't like get a chance to measure it because we didn't have the keys yet well yeah we really wanted to be able to have stuff here right now as we're moving in but it's backfiring because yeah because things are just not what we thought they'd be but we could go to some furniture stores today and figure it out that's true we should probably do that um like this this is kind of making me rethink the rove bed i kind of want to return uh, cancel right. it and i got the oh. other rug that now i know it's too small too the blue dog beds are too big the blue dog like, beds are too big like Definitely. literally nothing we ordered worked well what about the media stand that, the, that's the one. Hey, the table looks great. The yes. And the couch. The couch looks looks on the positive. And the umbrellas and the chase lounges, those yes, are. Those look good. We're just struggling with the budget. Yeah. The budget. Well, I did order these nightstands that are like smaller that might work a lot better in here. Did I show you this? light this is honestly good because this room doesn't have any lights yet <laughs> yeah it's not a bright light but it's yeah it's better blue, better blue than light. yeah it's an accent like it'll look nice when we put something over here this is from article i'll link it down below it was only like 130 dollars i think whoa that thing no <laughs> Okay, so we had a contractor come by and take a look around to give us- Well, he didn't really tell us exactly how much things will cost yet, but like some things. So polished concrete floors, like you see in a lot of these houses, it looks really good and modern. That's about 13,000 total, which is not as bad as I expected since they have to like rip up this tile. The tile is really not the worst thing ever, so not a huge priority to me, but I do think it's a little bit sterile. Like it kind of reminds me of a hospital just a little bit. The thing about changing the floors is if we're gonna change the kitchen, it's kind of better to just change the floors at the same time because they don't even make this tile anymore. <laughs> um, so the kitchen, we talked about knocking out that wall, but leaving the curved part because there's a lot of like electrical components in it and then just switching like the cabinets countertops and stuff and then what i didn't think about but this contractor had done in a lot of houses is doing a three-piece window wall so it would go all the way to there and you could open it up all the way so then we'd have like a really nice view of the pool and the mountains because right now you don't really get it and you could open it up it would just feel so much bigger in here so i love that idea and i was like what's that gonna be like 20 grand and same with the polished concrete they quoted kind of closer to like 12 to 15 so i was like that could be really cool so lots of ideas there's so much stuff though i'm like hmm, what to prioritize like i guess the windows aren't really a priority it's more so the kitchen i love how the dogs just follow monica around Looks like some of the stuff I ordered on Amazon has arrived, so let's check that out. All right, it looks like these are the some of the cups. That... Stemless wine glasses, apparently these break less often, so they're better for Airbnb guests. So in this one, it's just a queen-sized comforter. So that will be for this room. Yeah, now that I look at it, I'm like, maybe it will look better if we just have different nightstands. I think it's just the nightstands that aren't working. So we flipped the couch this way to see how it would fit. And it actually does fit pretty well. It could have like a little credenza thing. And then the TV on this wall. Stop watching the okay. you That way, if we did the full window wall, we could still have a TV on the wall. But we're gonna head back to the other house since we still don't have mattresses here. We're not sleeping here yet, but learned a lot today. And tomorrow I think we'll hit the ground running, sanding the ceiling and painting it, and just getting more of the essentials. Because I feel like we didn't actually accomplish a ton, but it did it did take about an hour to meet with the contractor and I had to work on some video stuff too, but yeah, getting more ideas like fire pit somewhere, getting a hot tub really would be awesome. 
We're going in the hot tub. We got cheese, we got wine. What more do you need? Just a hot tub. They love to hang by the hot tub. Hi, Cal. Trying to attempt to eat pizza again today. And I feel like it's going better this time. But it's still like, I have to eat pretty slow. I sort of bit into a cracker when I was over by the hot tub and at one point it hurt. I honestly feel like my teeth hurt, which I didn't expect. It's kind of weird, it doesn't really make sense. Like why would my teeth hurt? And then my jaw hurts if I open it pretty wide, but usually only on the right side, which I said was pretty normal. It's weird, I feel like I just have to chew so slowly and like carefully. He's like, I'll chew it. 